Okay, ready. You ready? <laughs> uh, we got it. We got it. All right, let's do this. Hey, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is the Friday edition of the Daily Draw. Fridays, we always take a look at something that has to do with animals, and since we are in the Eastern season, Easter season, uh, we looked at a, a little bunny rabbit last week. I thought we'd look at a chick this week, and I got something else, another Easter-themed idea for next week. So uh, we're going to keep these rolling along here. Lana, I'm glad that you're in the chat. Always happy to see, see you chiming in. Let's see, what'd you say here? Uh, yep, life keeps getting in the way a little bit. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Yes, life has a, a sense of doing that. But man, I'll tell you, if you could just, even if you had a little sketchbook and squeezed out five to 10 minutes, that would be remarkable. All right. Well, with that being said, let's get into this. Okay. So we've got two different chicks I want to hit up today and take a look at. I am live, so go ahead and uh, if you have any questions, pop those in. But let's go ahead and get started with this idea of gesture first, okay? So just remember, we always try and uh, whenever we draw something, we start with gesture, construction, and then detail, okay? So let's do that holding my pencil toward the back here and I'm just I'm just gonna kind of walk through this uh, little chicken here thinking of his body and his head kind of checking about where his feet might go all right so there's there's a quick little uh, gesture drawing of him I'm going to try and slow these down just a little bit. Uh, a couple of people have asked me to comment that uh, I'm going too fast. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll slow it down because it's a, speed is not the uh, moment. I, I think I just get overly excited about doing this stuff. So, okay. So there is my quick gesture. Now let's go in here now look at the body and let's just kind of Put in, use an oval for this body here. And I'm just going to alright, there's there's my body. And if I look at the uh, if, I, if I start to map this out just a little bit, look at the back side of him. You see? Look at this here. I always I'm always looking for straights and curves. Anything, anything that is living um, has a lot of that. So, for example, look at, it's almost like a straight back here. You see that? It goes right into his, uh, his back foot there. So let's, let's kind of be mindful of that idea. So let's see, we're going to kind of do a quick line there. And then I also see like this, this wing is kind of wrapping around his body. So let's see here. This wing is going to kind of wrap around there. If I, if I look down toward the bottom here and I, I could kind of come in with his, uh, Oh no, Geraldine, you're okay. We just started. If I uh, look at his feet here, all right, so let's see now. There's this leg. It's kind of coming up. You see that? And this is going to go right into his breast. All right, let's look at this. Let's look at this first foot here. Now we've got this is coming out in this direction. Leg is coming out there. Oh, 
All right, so now now we kind of have a, a shape going. Let's let's take a close look. Look at this negative shape right there. You see this? See that negative shape? Let's see if we can use that to our advantage. So let's see. I'm coming like this. I'm going to come down like this. They have uh, four. They have the, th the three claws in front and then the one in the back there. You see that? Okay, let's use a vertical line. This is, this is the tip right there. And if I go straight up, okay, this is gonna go right into his head. So let's, let's start getting ready here to place the, uh, the head there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add like a, a sphere now that I, now that I have a nice nice placement of that. And when I look at the eye down to the beak, it's not straight across. It's it's kind of the eye lines going like this. You see. And then the center line on his head is, is kind of right in there, yeah. Now, beaks are kind of interesting because they're, they're kind of shaped like, almost like this. You know, and this is, this is pretty common on birds. It's like a almost it's almost like a triangle shape. Like you like you took a piece of paper. Something like that. And then let's let's get his eye correct and let's take a measurement here. Let's look at the size of his eye compared to how big his head is here. This is we're always All right, so his eye is pretty big. Okay. And then he's got this eyelid. Look at this. Eyelid comes over the top of it. You see that? And now his, as I'm looking at this now, his uh, his head is overlapping his body. So I want to make sure I can just kind of I'm going to come around here.
And look at his wing. His, you want to really get the feel that his wing is wrapping around. Okay. Giving just a little bit of thickness to these uh, claws. Now that one's that one's in front, and so this this one back here, even though it's out of focus, that's going to be behind. Okay. And then let's make sure you stretch out this. That claw right there and then. Now the lighting, the lighting on this guy is diffused, meaning meaning it's it, there isn't really a direct. It's like bright all around, so we don't have a lot of shadow, but we can. But his feathers have a lot of value to it, so we can we can add some tone to this wing here. And then if you do color these these markings on his wings, just make sure when you do it, you're following the contour of his body. All right, let's go ahead and, and start on the next one. All right, let's get a nice, uh, holding the back of my pencil here. Nice and light gesture. Let's start with a, once again, a, a nice oval shape. And 
like this. Has that real strong backward, like that leg popping out there, right? And the leg in back is really, you can't see much of it at all. Now, this is interesting. I, the back of his head is is a little bit lower than the back of his head is starting a little bit lower than the uh, the top part of his body there. So it's it's like coming coming around. You see that? Look at this, look at that negative space there. Look at this, this is an interesting, this is the back of his body. And if I, let's see now, if I go horizontally, look at that, that lines up with the bottom of his beak, you see? Then let's get another measurement here. Let's say the center of his eye. Wow, look at that. So, if I'm going to say that's his eye there. Okay, now look at look how off I am. This is it's always good to show you that. So as you can see, I'm just lightly sketching to try and get this rearranged here a bit to get my proportion back on back on track. Before we started, I, I did some little more cartoony versions of this guy. I'll, I'll show them to you here in just a second as soon as we finish up. Think of think of these wings as you're like laying them on top almost like a cape.
as I'm laying these colors down, I'm just thinking of the surface. How are these? Follow, how are the uh, feathers following the the surface of him? There's a lot of white feathers on those uh, on that wing there, so in order to get them to pop, I want to darken the back, darken the rest of his body. Okay, I'm going to work on these legs here. But I do want to show you this. Look at this. This is some good negative space here. Yep. One of my favorites, the spur. Yeah. It's almost invisible. That's right. You know, I, I just for the record, when I'm drawing, I've never been a big old fan of like um, of erasing. Not at this point, because I'm just sketching. So I I like to see like the previous marks. spurs <clears throat> Geraldine are these the rest of it's cl called the, the claws his claw the spurs are on the back the claws are front So let me, uh, as we kind of are getting here to the closing out moment, let me uh, duplicate that. I'm going to just move him over here just a bit. And I want to show you what I did earlier. So I used this guy as a uh, I used this picture here as a reference. And then then I just started like creating different shapes and thinking about uh, thinking about uh, how I could use different eyes and positions and things of that sort. So, for example, you know, it was like, okay, he has a round body. So he has a round body, but then maybe, maybe he has a square head coming up here like this. And then maybe maybe he has his little beak and and you know you could what is his eye like is it just like half asleep
What other kind of weird shapes can we pull out of here? You saw that angry bird. <laughs> yeah, what it what what does that look like? And then that main feather comes around the back side. I think it's interesting that these legs are like darting out. You know, what if what if you had what if you had a dump like a Dumbo character? <laughs> hey, Marcus. <laughs> Edmund, welcome, my dear friend. What if, what if you had like, you know, like a Dumbo was born with giant ears? Well, what if, what if this guy was born with giant legs, giant feet, and he didn't, he didn't know what to do with himself. People made fun of him, but then he found out later on in life he could run faster than, than any bird. There's a. There's a funny story waiting to be written, right? So there you go. So uh, I'll <clears throat> I'll leave that there, and we'll. Uh, in fact, you know, I'll make a screen capture of this and add it to uh, the daily draw that you could take a look at that. But it does give you a lot of variation. You know, that's that's where we start. We. Uh, would start first trying to understand how the chick is drawn and then and then for fun then you could take it and uh, and really uh, make it crazy you know see what see what you could do with it dinosaur days <laughs> yeah oh you want you want to do some dinosaurs you know what we should we will have to uh, maybe pick up those dinosaurs and dragons wow is that not a name for a fun class or what? <laughs> hey, all right, everyone. Well, this is Friday. I'm glad that you uh, timed in, tuned in here. Uh, gives you a little overview of drawing chicks. Uh, and I will post this. Uh, and that's what I got for you. So go out there. Make your day great. Have a great weekend. Edmund and Lana, Geraldine, glad you guys all tuned in today. Love seeing your faces. Go out there. Have a great weekend. Okay, bye-bye.